He's an internationally acclaimed inspirational speaker. He's an author. He's an educator. He's a philanthropist. And he's the president of Parker University in Dallas, Texas. And he has written a groundbreaking new book called The Power of Self-Healing. Unlock your natural healing potential in 21 days. So please welcome a really dear and personal friend of mine, Dr. Fabrizio Mancini. You know, people ask me all the time, they say, well, you know, Dr. Phil, who takes care of you? Um, and I say, well, first Robin, she's the one that gets me by the ear and <laughs> straightens me out. But um, I, I met you 14 years ago, right? Yes. And I had never used a chiropractor before. And in generations before, chiropractor has been criticized a lot. It, I mean, it, it hasn't had a great reputation. But I was open to it because when I was practicing and I worked with a lot of orthopedic surgeons, a, a key member of their treatment team was a properly trained chiropractor. And so when I started having problems, you did not treat my back. You, you treated me. You really got into what you call the three parts of this that are important. And it's, it's a very holistic sort of thing. You can't have a one-legged stool. You can't have a two-legged stool. And you say there's physical self-healing, emotional self-healing, and spiritual self-healing. Talk about what you mean. Well, the first thing to recognize is that our bodies are self-healing and self-regulating. So that means that we're already born to heal naturally. Number two is that I learned that the master system is the controlling system of the body. It supports all the cells, all the organs. So the physical component is what most of us are used to, you know move your body, exercise regularly, make sure that our body has a, a, an ability to move. Movement is, is life. We have to make better choices, you know. Almost over 80% of the diseases that we have today are made because of the choices we make on a physical plane. And that's why for me in chiropractic, the one thing that he taught me more important than anything is that it's, we see patients as well. That means I see you as a well individual. I don't see you as a sick individual. My job is to try to figure out any possible way naturally to facilitate that self-healing inside of yourself and address the cause of the problem, not just manage symptoms. Did, did you hear he said I was well? Well, <laughs> said I'm yeah. a well individual? Yes, because yeah. of him. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> when, when I was in Dallas, I got chiropractic treatments from you like two, three times a week. Right. And now I'm in L.A. The first thing I did was talk to Dr. Mancini, found one of the graduates from Parker University, who's Dr. Uh, DeFazio, sitting right here, Patrick DeFazio. And I, what are we seen each other for 10 years? 10 at years least now. twice a week, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What do people not understand about this wellness business? Because you guys really approach this in a holistic way, and you do with me. From a chiropractic perspective, we look at the body as a whole, and we work to allow the body to restore to normal function. So what we do is help the body release its own innate power to heal itself. But look, I want to put some of this in, into play here because I want to add somebody to the conversation. Now Joe was only five years old when his entire life dramatically changed. And now 40 years later he still feels trapped in an emotional nightmare. You're going to really relate to this. Take a look. When I was five years old, the drunk driver ran a red light. She was clocked at 120 miles per hour, and she crashed into my family's car. My sister Maria, who was 11, was thrown from the backseat through the windshield. I was thrown out of the car and into the woods. The tragedy really was my dad and my sister. After the accident, we were at the hospital, I woke up in a bed, and my mom was sitting next to me. And I said to her, I can't feel my legs. And just as I said that, the doctor walked in and said, yes, son, you're paralyzed, and you're never going to walk again. When I heard the words, you're scared. You're basically just terrified, because you don't know what your life is going to be like now. But I was a prisoner in my own body. We had to court with Andrea, the drunk driver. Andrea got away with everything. She got no jail time, no nothing. What really devastated me, that haunts me till this day, is that when she got off the stand, she looked at my mother and said, hooray for me and you. How do you do that? How do you do that to somebody and, and, and devastate a family? And then 
and have no remorse, not even give it a Sorry. I'm 45 years old. I've been in a wheelchair since I was five years old. I've been sitting for 40 years in this chair. Growing up without a father is terrible because he's the man that you go to for advice. He's your counselor, your dad. You have a problem, who you talk to? Your father. I didn't have that. I carry a lot of anger for what happened because I don't know if she understands the devastation she caused and she ruined my life physically, financially, and mentally and emotionally. She's literally destroyed it. I got the chair for a crime I didn't commit. She should have got the chair. Before we start, I, I need to say, in fairness, that um, the drunk driver uh, in this situation is not here to defend herself. We did contact her and we said, we're calling from the Dr. Phil show, and we're calling about what happened with you, and she hung up. I have to say that the things you say are allegations. You, you know in your mind what's true and what's not, but uh, enough about her, I want to talk about you. Okay. Um, how, how do you deal with this? How do you manage this every day? It's challenging because this could have all been prevented. It was, you know, senseless. And it's almost like I chronically put the blame on that person. You still have a lot of anger and pain from this every day. Yeah. Still back. Sorry. So what's the challenge here? I mean, can Joe let go of 40 years of anger and pain and finally have some peace? Uh, and then what do you do to maximize your physical, emotional, and, and spiritual experiences when you are so limited. Dr. Mancini and I are going to take this bull by the horns when we come back. We've been talking about what it takes to fully better your life and my guest and good friend Dr. Fabrizio Mancini is the go-to guy in my opinion. He has helped thousands heal and live uh, the life they deserve. He's written a new book uh, it's the book called The Power of Self-Healing, Unlock Your Natural Healing Potential in 21 Days. And learning to heal is exactly what my guest Joe struggles with, to overcome an accident that left him paralyzed, killed his father, killed his sister, and he's been in his chair for 40 years. Doctor, you say there's power to maximize your experience wherever you find yourself, whether it's with a disease, an impairment or whatever. Talk about that son. Well, the most important thing to recognize is that we are not disease. To me, what I'm listening to you, Joe, is primarily that as a chiropractor, I would tell you that chiropractic care is going to improve your nerve function. And that's going to allow your body to function at a higher level. But what I'm listening to you mostly is the emotional component that you're wrestling with. The number one emotion that releases us from our past is forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key. Who knows the circumstances of why she got into that car, why she was running from the police, and why she felt like, you know, uh, she needed to be driving under those conditions. That's really the key here. You have no control over that. Forgiveness also needs to mean that in this accident, as traumatic as it was, you survived. You know, maybe you need to forgive yourself for living. Because, you know, you were five years old and maybe that wasn't a conscious decision at the time, but it has been a conscious decision since then because you keep replaying that tape. But you said some people don't see the man, they see the chair. How about you? What do you see? You see the man or you see the chair? I see the man. I'm very comfortable with myself as a human being, who I am. Um, I started a charity called the Spinal Cord Foundation because I know from experience, being disabled, there is no help. Medicaid and Medicare say they help, but they don't because like this wheelchair is 10 years old and it's being held together by a bungee cord and I needed a new wheelchair and I've been fighting for that. But I did learn I can't help anybody until I can help myself. Our self-image and our body image tend to vary yes. together. When your body image is damaged, your self-image goes with it, true? Yes. And that's something that that you have to do. And and you know when Dr. Mancini is saying that there's such power in forgiveness, forgiveness is not about her; it's about you. 
Dr. Mancini talks about this uh, in, in his way, in, in the power of self-healing. For every thought you have, there's a physiological correlate that goes with it. So if you have angry thoughts, then you have responses. Your body will, will tense up and it will cause you to carry stress, carry tension. I don't want you to forgive her for her. She may not deserve it, but you do. You'll never forget about it, but you let it go and you set yourself free. She will face judgment one day. And that's what Dr. Mancini is talking about, the power of healing yourself from the inside out. I could forgive anybody for any crime. When I was told that she didn't have, she hung up and she didn't want to come on the show, it only bothered me for the fact that, you know, maybe this is a good time now for me to come to terms with this. And if this gentleman's coming on the Dr. Phil show, obviously he wants some type of closure with me. And she would have done that, but she didn't. That prison that, that, that he's talking about? Emotional jail. It locks from the inside, not the outside. You don't need her to come on here and unlock that door to let you out. We'll be right back. Today, and a special thanks to Dr. Pat DeFazio. Thank you for coming, and thanks for taking care of me all of these years. He's the best of the best. And also to Dr. Fabrizio Mancini, whose new book, The Power of Self-Healing, Unlock Your Natural Healing Potential in 21 Days is available now in stores and online. And audience, all of you are going home with a copy. Okay.